He's on the ground in Florida. Uh, we have been on the ground for about 48 hours, uh, spending some time uh, in Cross City yesterday. And uh, we are here today to conduct joint uh, field uh, damage assessments. Um, I want to be very clear and underscore the word joint. FEMA's role today uh, is to support the state uh, and to offer guidance uh, and, and to really gain a deeper understanding of exactly what it is that's happening here. Uh, that'll continue uh, through today. If we need more time, uh, we'll continue with the PDAs tomorrow. Um, I'm uh, joined by uh, Annette Doying, the Pasco County Emergency Management Director, who I know you're familiar with. She will speak to you in a moment, uh, and then we'll take just a couple questions. And then as you can see, we're gonna be uh, moving out. Thank you for coming. So Pasco County is glad to be where we are this morning uh, as it regards having state and federal partners in the house. We're, you're seeing represented here the Florida Division of Emergency Management. Obviously, as was just told to you, FEMA is here with us. The Small Business Administration out of the federal government is here as well. And it's a large crew. Uh, I know some of them. They're familiar to me. They're, they're very qualified and very experienced and they're very compassionate people. We've already begun to talk about where we will go and what we will see. And it's my hope that the state and federal government uh, determines that Pasco County has suffered significant enough losses that they're able to support our efforts as we move forward towards recovery. And with that, are there any questions? How will FEMA determine Pasco County has suffered enough damage? Uh, very good question. At this stage, FEMA does not make that determination. Uh, the determination is made at this uh, stage uh, by the county and the state in concert with one another as to whether or not uh, a formal declaration uh, is requested. And uh, at that point, if the state and county and or counties in this case feel as though there is enough damage uh, warranting a declaration, um, that information would be provided to the governor and the governor would make that official request to the president through FEMA. How long does all of that take? How long does that process take? Uh, there is no set timeline. Um, obviously, uh, the state, uh, the locals, and FEMA can uh, recognize what's happening on the ground here. We know that there are areas that continue to be impacted, uh, flooded. Uh, talking with Annette this morning, areas that are inaccessible. Um, uh, so know that uh, uh, with FEMA comes the full uh, cadre of government uh, resources at the federal level. Should a declaration be issued, I can't give you the timeline on when that might. Can you maybe just cover a few of the resources that would be offered? Uh, I can't at this point. It would be premature to do that. Okay. I can tell you that FEMA is here today. We have uh, individual assistance uh, here. We have the Small Business Administration here. Uh, we're joined by uh, local uh, and state officials. Uh, and, and our teams will be going out and looking at damage uh, in this area beginning about 845. Um, if we don't finish today, we'll come back tomorrow. If we don't finish tomorrow, we'll, we'll come back again. I think the goal here, because of the extent of what we understand has happened, is to move swiftly and quickly. And so what you'll see are our experienced teams moving uh, at, at, at some points a pretty rapid pace. Know that they are chronicling everything they need to get. And if they need to stop, if they need to visit, if they need to enter a building, they'll do that. Uh, but these folks know what they're doing and they'll be moving pretty quickly. One more question. Does FEMA recommend, or what's their role in, to the president? They just say, we recommend you save the disaster or not? That's a really uh, procedural question. I don't, I don't know that that's what's important today. What's important today is that we understand exactly what is happening here on the ground. Uh, and I want to leave you with one uh, important message that I hope you can help us impart to those impacted who might be watching. Um, Without a declaration of a disaster, without a damage assessment happening, which we're doing today, without any of that happening, residents don't have to wait to mitigate and to clean up. This is really important. We know that there are public health issues and this kind of thing out there. Residents can immediately begin cleaning up and documenting, photographing, uh, doing whatever they have to to make their property safe and livable uh, to the extent that they can do that. Please don't wait. Uh, that, that can happen now. Thank you. I know a lot of you are going to be joining us on the tour. Um, about 8.45 we'll be leaving and um, I'll be around if there are additional questions. Thank you. As you can see, we've got to move. Thank you. Can you please say your name and just 
It's Ryan, R-Y-A-N, Deal, D-E-A-L, and I'm with FEMA Region 4. Thank you. Thank you.